If you love video games and the realism that comes with them, then our next guest has something that will blow you away. Sim Coaches is a Las Vegas based company who are making racing simulators that ride and look like the real thing. Yes, they do. Joining us now is founder Lawrence Thomas to talk about how the company is bridging the gap between professional training and gaming enthusiasts. Yeah, Welcome morning. back, Lawrence. This is so cool. I appreciate you guys having me again. No, we love having yeah, you. We love having you here. It's so great. I mean, we got to experience what this was like you know firsthand but let's talk about what inspired you to create this the biggest thing um, that we started sim coaches with was there was a huge gap with the simulator world where um, people just couldn't have that really realistic feel of them driving a car in the comfort of their home and we were just so able to see this gap and um, we're racers at heart we love racing and so we wanted to fill this gap and allow people to actually have that true feel in their home right in their living room so that's where sim coaches really began racing simulators seem to have you know, really exploded recently, and there's that that hybrid thing between people, drivers wanting to experience race courses they might be taking on, or just training, and also that the gaming enthusiast. Uh, w I mean, who are they really designed for? What's the crossover here, and, and what's the what's the excitement or enthusiasm from from all these different audiences? What does that do for you guys? That's a good question. Um, a lot of our customers are real racing drivers. These are guys that need that one-to-one -one practice. If you can imagine, racing drivers need to practice, but they can't always get out to the race track. Mm -hmm. And so, having a racing simulator that actually feels one-to-one, -one, this gives them that that opportunity to practice. Now, that doesn't mean casual gamers don't fit into our world, because we also do cater to the casual gamer. We have lower-end systems that are able to actually work for them as well. So depending on what it is that you like, what you want to do, we can kind of tweak and tune and make things fit uh, exactly what your needs are. Cool. Now, what would you say makes this simulator, the ones that you guys do at SimCoaches, so different and unique on the market? That's super cool, actually, because we're the only manufacturer in America, which is like the coolest thing ever to me. Uh, we actually make our hardware. We're not just like assemblers where we order in all the different parts, and then we assemble it together. We actually craft every single piece that you find on our simulators. That allows us to really make the quality really top notch, because we can have our hand on everything. And then we can also make sure that the user experience, when you sit in it and you love it and you feel it, um, is exactly what we want you to feel. Well, so. we definitely yeah. felt it. Yeah. I mean, every time I bumped into one of the barricades <laughs> there, I felt it I, I, firsthand. <laughs> so what, what you mentioned, you know, you, you, you go from casual gamer to, to, to a professional racer. Sure. What are the kind of options that are available for someone or in that broad spectrum? Uh, what, what kind of input do they get into the building of their own particular one? And what kind of support do they get you know, moving forward when they purchase from, from sim coaches? Well, when we have somebody that comes to us mm -hmm. and they say, hey, I want a racing simulator, we really first talk to them, what are their needs? Because there's so such a big, broad spectrum of different racing that you could do on these. You could do drifting, off-road trucks, you could do GT3 cars, you could do NASCAR, you could do trucks. I mean, there's a whole lot of different things. So the first thing we do is we have a conversation. What is it that you want to do? Then we can figure out what hardware it is that we're going to put on this to make sure that it fits your style, because it would be terrible terrible if you want to do drifting, but we set it up for formula cars. That would not work at all. So we figure out what you want, tune it to you, and then we get your height, your specs, how dip far the pedals and everything need to be to make sure that it's it's your setup. It's um, yeah, and it's I think what was cool too, I mean, you got to do manual, and I got yeah. to do automatic. Yeah, so right. there's even that capability too, depending on what someone's looking for, right? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, depending on what your capabilities are, or even what you want to do. If you don't want to do manual shifting, you just want to do automatic. We could do all that, yeah. So if someone's watching right now, and, that, and they've seen Jess and I playing in it and and seriously guys we we laid so much fun <laughs> is there somewhere they can go and try it out? Is there, are there exhibits? Is there you know uh, somewhere where they can come and meet you or something they can sit in and test it out for themselves? We do have a showroom right here in Las Vegas. So we're just down the street over by the Palms. Um, they are a, more than welcome to come down to our showroom, play in our simulators, have some fun, try them out, see if this is something for them. Uh, but we also have something really cool uh, coming up for the Formula One uh, when they're in town. Over at Flyover, we're going to have some simulators set up, um, more as like a fan experience where people can come in, test them out, have some fun, drive on the track. No that they're gonna be driving way. on. That yeah. is really, really And just really enjoy cool. themselves. So that's also gonna be open to the public as well. You, should, you guys should have done like a, a, a 15 simulator where you just sit behind traffic <laughs> and you get to take in the scenery like Allegiant Stadium <laughs> you know, looks nice today. Yeah, you know? just five miles an hour stop. <laughs> through the traffic cones. That's awesome. That would be great. So Vegas, right? You're right. <laughs> Well, Lauren, thank you so much for joining thank us you this so much morning. For it me. was really fun getting in one of these, so I'm excited for people to learn more. So, for more information, be sure to visit simcoaches.com.